This video will take you through the installation of a new GE Appliances built-in dishwasher. Before you begin the installation, read the instructions in the installation guide carefully. Once you've read the instructions, make sure these parts are included in your installation package. Next, gather these materials. And finally, here are the tools you should keep nearby. Note that neither these recommended materials nor tools are supplied in the installation package. Now let's go through how to prepare your dishwasher enclosure. First, be sure the wall area at the back of the enclosure is free of pipes and wires. Next, measure your rough cabinet opening. It must be at least 24 inches deep, 24 inches wide, and approximately 34 and 1 half inches high from the floor to the underside of the countertop. When installed into a corner, allow at least a 2-inch clearance between the dishwasher and adjacent cabinet, wall, or other appliances. Allow at least a 25 and 1 half inch clearance from the front of the dishwasher for the open door. Note that the dishwasher door should be flush with the cabinet. For models with a handle, the total depth with the handle is a maximum of 26 and 1 4 inches depending on the model. Locate the quick specs document online for more dishwasher dimensions. Note that the dishwasher must be fully enclosed at the top, sides, and back as well. Now it's time to check the drain. First, note that the drain hose must be no more than 16 feet from the rear of the dishwasher for proper drainage, so you should not exceed this distance to the drain. Next, determine your drain method. There are two options to choose from but we recommend what's called the high drain loop. This method works with the waste tee or a disposer connection. Drill a one and one half inch diameter hole in the wall of the cabinet with the sink. Be sure the hole is smooth with no sharp edges. If you are connecting the drain line to a disposer, be sure to remove the drain plug. The dishwasher will not drain if the plug is left in place. To prepare electrical wiring, Please consult a licensed electrician or see the installation guide for complete details. Next, it's time to prepare your hot water line. We recommend 3 8 inch copper tubing for the water line, but you can also use the GE Appliances flexible hose. The line may enter from either side, the rear, or the floor, within the highlighted area. It may pass through the same hole as the electrical cable or drain hose, or you can cut an additional 1 and 1 half inch diameter hole for it. If you use a power cord with the plug, the line must not pass through the power cord hole. If you use a flexible supply hose, label it with the installation date to use as a reference. Flexible hoses, elbows, and gaskets should be replaced in five years. Now, turn off the water supply, then install a hand shutoff valve in an accessible location, such as under the sink. This is optional, but strongly recommended, and may be required by local codes. The water connection is on the left side of the dishwasher. Install the hot water inlet line using no less than 3 8 inch copper tubing or a flexible hose. Route the line as shown on screen and extend it forward at least 19 inches from the rear wall. Last, adjust the water heater for 120 degrees to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Flush the water line to clean out debris and ensure the hot water supply line pressure reads 20 to 120 PSI. Finally, you're ready to install the dishwasher. First, locate these items in the installation package. Now check your door balance. Use caution. Opening the door will cause the dishwasher to tip forward when it isn't fully installed. So hold the top of the dishwasher securely with one hand and hold the door with the other hand. The door is properly balanced if, when you open it, it stays in position from zero to 90 degrees. It's okay if it falls open beyond 70 degrees from vertical or self-closes within 20 degrees from vertical. If necessary, increase or decrease the tension as shown. Latch the door and adjust the left spring tension on the side of the dishwasher to correct its balance. Make sure the door opens and closes smoothly. If it's hard to open or falls too easily, check the spring cable routing. Adjust the leveling legs next Move the dishwasher close to the installation location and lay it on its back. Do not place the dishwasher on its side. 
With a 15 16 inch socket wrench, adjust the leveling legs into the dishwasher frame, approximately one half inch from the frame as shown. Now install the 90 degree elbow. Thread the 3 4 inch GHT 90 degree elbow onto the water valve. Ensure the rubber gasket is located between the valve and elbow. Do not over tighten the elbow. Position the end of it to face the rear of the dishwasher. Position the water supply line and house wiring on the floor of the opening to avoid interference with the base of the dishwasher and the components under the dishwasher. Next, connect the drain line. Detach the hose from the tub at the locations indicated on screen. Do not remove the high drain loop. Determine the size of the inlet port. If you need to, you can cut the drain hose connector on the marked line as shown. Extension hoses are available if needed. Refer to the drain requirements section at the beginning of this video or to the installation instructions for complete details. Next, install the drain hose. Position the dishwasher in front of the cabinet opening. Then insert the drain hose into the hole in the side of the cabinet. If a power cord is used, guide the end through a separate cabinet opening. Position all utility lines so they don't interfere with anything under or behind the dishwasher. If the model you're installing requires an insulation blanket, reposition it over the collar as shown. Slide the dishwasher 3 fourths of the way into the cabinet. Grasp the sides of the front panel and slide the dishwasher into the opening a few inches at a time, as shown. As you proceed, pull the drain hose through the opening under the sink. Stop pushing when the dishwasher extends about 6 inches forward from the adjacent cabinets. Make sure the drain hose is not kinked under or behind the dishwasher, and be certain the house wiring, drain line, and water line do not interfere with the components under the dishwasher. Now, install the trim pieces set aside in step 1. Note that these pieces are optional and not included with all models. Select the top trim piece and line up the center with the top latch. Press the trim piece onto the tub flange, moving from one side to the other. Next, select the left trim piece. Align the top edge with the top trim and press it onto the left side of the tub flange, moving from the top to the bottom. Repeat for the right side tub flange trim piece. Now you'll need the mounting bracket set aside in step 1. Install the brackets before sliding the dishwasher into final position. You can install them on the top of the tub frame if the underside of the countertop is wood or wood-like material that accepts screws. Or you can install them on the sides if the countertop is granite or a similar material that will not accept wood screws. We highly recommend using the sides. Install the brackets by inserting the tabs through the slots on the tub frame. Bend and twist the tabs upward to secure them as shown. After you install the brackets, and before you close the dishwasher door, adjust the brackets by bending them up as needed. If you're installing the dishwasher under a counter with a short overhang, the countertop brackets may extend beyond the edge of the counter. If this is the case, remove the excess length by repeatedly bending the brackets at the front notch, only until they break. Break off the front portion of the bracket with pliers at the location shown before attaching it to the dishwasher. Then. Install the brackets by inserting the tabs through the slots on the tub frame as shown. You may need to work the tabs through the slots. Using pliers, bend and twist the tabs to secure. Again, we highly recommend using the sides of the countertop for installation. Follow these instructions carefully to push the dishwasher into final position. If the model you're installing comes with a tub installation blanket, check it to be sure it's wrapped around the tub. Then slide the dishwasher into position by pushing on the sides of the door panel. The dishwasher is in final position when the edges of the front panel are flush with the adjacent cabinets and the dishwasher is centered in the cabinet opening. Check the alignment before opening the dishwasher door to prevent panel damage. Then, open and close the dishwasher door to be sure it operates smoothly without rubbing on the adjacent cabinet. Make sure all utility lines are not trapped or crushed behind the dishwasher. Crushed lines will restrict water flow. Now level the dishwasher. Remove the lower dish rack and place a level on the door and lower rack track as shown. Then adjust the level by individually turning the four legs on the bottom of the dishwasher with a wrench. Position the dishwasher securely to the countertop or cabinet. 
there are two options for positioning the dishwasher. Securing it to the underside of a wood countertop or securing it to the cabinet sides. We recommend the second option. You'll need the two Phillips special head screws from the screws set aside in step one. Fasten the dishwasher to the adjacent cabinets with the two Phillips special head screws provided. Do not screw into the cabinet face frame. The plug buttons must be installed to ensure proper door to tub alignment. Install them to the side of the tub in the holes provided. Ensure the dishwasher doesn't rock and that the door and latch are working properly. Next, connect the water supply line to the 90 degree elbow. If you're using a flexible hose connection, attach the nut to the 90 degree elbow using an adjustable wrench. If you're using a copper tubing connection, slide the compression nut and then the ferrule over the end of the water line. Insert the water line into the 90 degree elbow and slide the ferrule against the elbow to secure it with the compression nut. Make sure that the door spring and the door spring cable don't touch the fill hose or the water supply line. Now finish connecting the drain line. Connect the drain line to the air gap, waste tee, or disposer. Then secure the hose with a hose clamp. You can do this using two different methods. In this video, we will use the high drain loop method. You'll need the drain hose hanger set aside in step one. Fasten the hose to the underside of the countertop with the provided hanger. Refer to the drain requirements section at the beginning of this video or to the installation instructions for complete details. Be sure to remove the drain plug when connecting the drain line. And to avoid unnecessary service call charges, hold the excess drain hose through the cabinet opening to prevent the hose from becoming crushed by the dishwasher. Time to connect the power supply. If a power cord with the plug is already installed, skip ahead to step 18. If not, you'll need the junction box cover and number 10 hex head screw from the screw set aside in step one. Please read the following warning before you start. Be sure to call a licensed electrician if you're uncomfortable with any electrical work. Secure the wiring to the back of the junction box with a strain relief. Then locate the three dishwasher wires, one white, one black, and one green, with the stripped ends coming out of the AC jumper. Use UL listed wire nuts, correctly sized, to connect incoming ground to green, white to white, and black to black. Install the junction box cover using the number 10 hex head screw. Check to make sure that wires aren't pinched under the cover and that all wire nuts are inside the cover. Finally, make sure the junction box cover is resting on the mounting bracket. Complete the pre-test checklist. Follow these steps after installation to avoid a service call that isn't covered by your warranty. Again, if a power cord with a plug is already installed, skip ahead to step 18. Be sure your power is off, then open the door and remove all packaging and protective film from the unit. Read the owner's manual for instructions. Check the door to make sure it opens and closes freely. Now check to be sure the wiring is secure under the dishwasher and isn't touching other components. Check the door alignment with the cabinet. If the door hits the cabinet, reposition the dishwasher. Make sure the door spring isn't touching the water line, fill hose, wiring, or other components. Then check the door alignment with the tub. The tub trim should not touch the door. If the door hits the tub, level the dishwasher. Pull the lower rack out halfway and make sure it doesn't roll forward or backward. If it moves, adjust the leveling legs. Verify that the water supply and drain lines aren't touching other components. Contact with the motor or dishwasher frame could cause noise. Then turn on the hot water faucet. The temperature must be between 120 and 140 degrees Fahrenheit for best wash performance. Add two quarts of water to the bottom of the dishwasher to lubricate the pump seal. Then turn on the water supply, check for leaks, and tighten connections if needed. Now for the dishwasher wet test. Follow these steps to ensure the dishwasher is running correctly and won't leak. Turn on the power supply or plug in the power cord. Then select a cycle to run and push the start slash reset pad. Ensure the door is latched. The dishwasher should start. Make sure water enters the dishwasher. If it doesn't, make sure the water and power are on. Then check for leaks under the dishwasher. If there is a leak, turn off the power at the breaker and tighten the water connections. Restore the power when you're finished. Now check for leaks around the door. 
one could be caused by the door rubbing against adjacent cabinets. Reposition the dishwasher if necessary. Press and hold the start slash reset pad for three seconds to cancel the cycle. Check the drain lines when the unit begins to drain. Open the door and make sure all water has drained. If it hasn't, make sure the disposer plug has been removed, the air gap isn't plugged, and the drain hose isn't kinked beneath or behind the dishwasher. Press the start slash reset pad again and run another cycle. Check for leaks and make corrections if necessary. Repeat these steps as needed. Position the sound barrier and insulation next. If the sound barrier is assembled to the dishwasher, skip this step. If not, start by locating the sound insulation package inside the dishwasher, then the control box. Note that insulation is not included with all models. Apply the insulation to the underside of the control box, flush with its front face as shown. Now install the toe kick. Remove the two screws installed on the front brace, then place the toe kick against the legs of the dishwasher. Align the toe kick with the bottom edge and make sure it's against the floor. Then insert and tighten the two attachment screws. The toe kick should stay in contact with the floor. Check the following as a final precaution. Be sure the tub trim doesn't interfere with the door. The dishwasher is square and level at the top and bottom of the cabinet opening. All four legs of the dishwasher are firmly in contact with the floor. The drain hose is in pinch between the dishwasher, the cabinets, or walls. And the tub trim is fully seated on the tub flange. Last but not least, the literature. Make sure the owner has everything he or she needs when you're finished with the installation. So how easy was that? Be sure to rewatch this video, or of course, consult the installation guide for any remaining questions or troubleshooting.